If there's one thing I pride myself in, it's the ability to try new shit with low budget tools to get some pretty dope shots. Take this shot for example. Can you figure out how I was able to get this full 360 degree orbit overhead shot by myself? Everyone on Instagram has been asking me all week, so in this video, I'm going to go through my full explanation of everything I did. <laughs> Okay, so the easiest way this could have been done was to mount essentially what is a propeller onto the ceiling. Actually, it might be easier if I draw this out. Okay, so if I could have something that rotates and have something long to hold the camera on one side and then a counterweight on the other side just so it's balanced across and then this would spin and then this is me. Pretty accurate, right? But because I live in an apartment and someone lives above me, I didn't want to drill and potentially pierce their floor in order to mount this contraption. So I had to find a way to get this to hover over me without any involvement of the ceiling. And here's what I came up with. So I still wanted to have this contraption to revolve around me, but I could anchor this to something that would be out of frame. So instead of being anchored to the ceiling, it's actually going to be anchored to the floor. And I could have it out of frame by hiding it behind my desk. My monitor would be here. This is still the camera and this is still the counterweight. So quick recap, this is me, here's my desk. Here is a structure that comes up from behind my desk and across overhead with something that spins that holds something like a propeller that is going to have my camera on one end and just some balancing counterweights on the other end. We're gonna do some shopping. Because I wanted to keep everything low budget, the material of choice is obviously PVC pipe. So I got the long pieces to build the main structure and some fittings to connect them all together. So now that we have our structure, what are we going to use as the revolving piece? Remember that motorized turntable from my last episode? Well, I thought it would be a good idea to repurpose that as the mechanism that makes everything spin around. The way I attempted to mount the turntable to the structure was with command stickers. Command stickers work phenomenal in most cases. They're super adhesive and they don't leave any damage to whatever you're sticking them on. Mounting the turntable to the PVC structure was no problem. The only problem was the PVC structure was too weak. So I went back to the hardware store to look for something that was stronger than PVC. And in that same aisle right next to the PVC, was something called galvanized metal piping. These are basically metal pipes that have threads on the end and the threads made it a lot easier to connect and secure fittings when building out my structure. And because these metal pipes were so much stronger than PVC, I actually needed less of them. So with the couplings, the elbows, and all the other fittings, I pieced the metal structure together and I secured everything to the back of my desk using metal U brackets. To attach the motorized turntable onto the structure, I used command stickies to adhere the turntable to a floor flange piece, and then I used a double male thread to feed into the floor flange, and then the other end to feed into the elbow that was hanging off the structure. Then I taped another U-bracket to the center of the turntable, and then that U-bracket is going to support the PVC that's going to have the camera and the counterweights. To secure the counterweights, I just drilled a hole where I could feed a quarter 20 screw and then secure the counterweights that way. On the other side of the PVC, I did the same thing. I drilled a hole where I could screw in and mount a Gorillapod ball head where I had a quick release plate attached so that way I could easily take on and off the camera. The power cord from the turntable is hidden from frame because it's wrapped around the metal structure itself. And then it feeds behind my desk and plugs into the wall. After the camera is mounted, I just make sure that everything is balanced either by adjusting the counterweights by taking some off or adding some on or I move the PVC pipe within that U-bracket because it sits there freely. I could slide it one way or the other depending on where the weight needs to be. Once all of that is done, you could hit record on the camera, turn on the motorized turntable, and then have fun.